Joran Vandersloot, the suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, was in an Alabama courtroom on Friday. Holloway vanished in 2005 while on a high school graduation trip with classmates in Aruba. Her body has never been found. She was last seen alive with Joran Vandersloot. Holloway's family is hoping a federal case against him will finally lead to answers. Michael George is here with more on this. Michael, good morning. Jeff, good morning. 18 years. That's how long this case has gone unsolved. Well, now the prime suspect in Holloway's disappearance was flown from Peru to Alabama to face charges, but not for murder. He's charged with extorting Holloway's family. 35-year-old Joran Vandersloot, a Dutch national now in the custody of Birmingham, Alabama authorities, refused a translator when he pled not guilty to charges of extortion. He was the last person to see Natalie Holloway alive before she disappeared on the island of Aruba during a 2005 high school graduation trip. The case attracted international attention. Vandersloot was twice arrested but never charged in Holloway's disappearance. He's long maintained his innocence. Then, in 2010, a federal grand jury indicted him, accusing Vandersloot of trying to extort $250,000 from Holloway's mother, Beth, in exchange for details about the location of Natalie's body. The information was false. Holloway was declared legally dead in 2012. And while there's still no evidence of what happened to her, the extortion charges against Vandersloot are seen as an important step forward, according to Mark White, the family's attorney. It can be accountability and perhaps maybe opportunity for the truth to finally to come out. Beth Holloway, Natalie's mother, who was in court Friday, is quoted as saying, it's been a very long and painful journey, but we're finally getting justice for Natalie. She spent 18 years pushing investigators to find out what happened to her daughter. Now, even if Vandersloot is convicted, he won't see jail time in the U.S. anytime soon. That's because he'll be spending the next 15 years in a Peruvian prison after pleading guilty to the murder of another woman, 21-year-old Stephanie Flores. Dana? Never underestimate what a mother will do to keep uh, something going for her child. Michael, thank you.